uh, you know, this is the prayer of this imam. He, he is the head of the Islamic Center of Dearborn, Michigan. He is in charge of more than 250,000 Muslims in America. Uh, you know, when somebody he pray like a prayer like this, it, it sounds very good. We thank you, God, to send us your message through our father Abraham and Moses and Jesus. But he will not tell you that the Moses he's talking about is the one who follow Allah. And Jesus, the one he's talking about, his name is Isa, is the one who follow Allah. And Muhammad he's talking about, for sure, he's following Allah. So those are words he, they use to fool you, to make you believe that they believe in what you believe. And they are people of, uh, you know, uh, of fa fairness. And they, they are not against the Jews, because this is what Muslims mean, right? Jews. The, uh, they are not against the Christians, because this is what Jesus means, right? Christians. But the fact, they are talking seriously about those who they are Muslims, because you will see even in the debate, when we translate the whole debate, he's saying, Moses is a Muslim, Jesus is a Muslim. So don't fool yourself and think they are talking about you. And then... He is talking about, thank you for the message. Which message is the one he is talking about? It is the message of Islam. Don't ever think that he is speaking about your message. The message in your book, this one is not valid. He is fooling you. Now then, he says that, thank you, through you, God, we unite, so guide us to the right path. What is the right path? You know, if we go to the Quran, we will see that the right path is Islam only, because Islam, the only the religion Allah accepts. And this is a very clear verse, chapter 3, verse number 19, saying that religion for Allah is only Islam. And whatever is in the books of those who call themselves the people of the book, which means the Christian and the Jews are false they are false they are bad people so you see how they lie to you he said the, 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 the right path yes he's speaking about his all his prayer is about praying to Islam praying to the Muslims he is not praying to you he have nothing to do with you you are no one for him you know he's asking God to bless not the path of people who you doom who, who is who, who is the one Allah he doom it's the Christian and the Jews <laughs> he's cursing us in the front of our eyes he is cursing you in your congress and you you American you are watching this 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 big fat liar lying to you for you who is the one the Quran doom let us see chapter 4 verse number 47 clearly this is the prayer actually he's praying for us this he's praying this verse don't you know don't be you know against us the same as you are against the people who you doom who is the one he doom read with me our curse uh, you know uh, he's talking about the people of the book he's speaking to the people of the book and he is saying to them that you are cursed the same the same as the one we cursed before you which is the people of the saturday which mean what which means saturday, you know the the, uh, uh, the jews the people of the book, the Christians, and those who they are before them, the, the one who, the people of Saturday, the people of Sabbath, they are cursed. So in the prayer, he's saying to you in the front of your face, not, not like those who you cursed, not like the ones who you doom. He, he's cursing us in the front of your eyes. At the end of his speech, people, hey, thank you, thank you, Imam, thank you very much, our, our stupid, dumb, dumb, you know, a, a, a Congress and fill the earth with peace and justice and, and, and equity. What is that? This is Islam supposedly, because anything else is not justice, it's not peace, it's not, because no peace will happen in this earth unless Islam conquer the whole earth. Kill all the enemies, nobody else can say no to Islam, and then peace will happen. Read with me. This is the Quran, not my words. I'm not saying anything from my own. It's asking them not to cry for peace as long they have the uppermost. If the Muslims now they have the power of America, they will never call for peace until they destroy everybody. But because now they are weak, so they will sign a peace agreement with Israel, like Egypt. Huh? And this is the peace he's talking about. The peace when the Muslim will prevail over you, and they will be victorious and they will kill us all. And help us to stop the war and violence and oppression. War of what? What war? For him, for them, you know, Islam is in war with the infidels. So to stop the war is to finish the infidels, and then the war will stop. Oh, the oppression is, and the occupation, you are now occupying the land of Allah. It's not about occupying the land in Iraq or no. Oppre oppression and occupation, right now this guy is under oppression because he have to lie to protect Islam. This is oppression for him. He can't say the truth. He have to lie to get his citizenship. This is oppression. Occupation is you occupying the land which is made by Allah. For him, you have no right to have that land. This is a land made for the Muslims, and the Muslims should take it. Chapter 33, verse number 27. And he made, he made who? Allah. Huh? He, he made you inherit their lands, their houses, their goods, and of the land which you not even been in it. You see the verse in front of you. For them, they inherited your house. You see the house you are living in? This is the house of the Muslims. Your goods, the jewelers you have, the money, your, 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 your females, your wife, your daughter your son those are muslims property because god of islam told them the land which you never been in is given to you the land which you never been born in 
is yours the money which you never touched you never made this is will this is yours everything those people they have is yours so this this man is talking about what is talking about how Allah will give them the victor, victory over you and destroy you and take your land and this is why I say this video is extremely important please watch it carefully I gave you I analyzed the prayer of this filthy man the liar and I want you to help me to expose him those people they should be stripped from their citizenship because you will see this man saying he side clearly with Iran against America he side clearly and Iran is his, his, his country not our country how you give the enemies of USA a citizenship and a passport this person should be taken to court and he should be questioned for what he said and you know what there's no need for questioning he said that publicly in TV this is in public TV he is debating me and he is announcing that Iran is the right one Iran who say death to America every day twice three times a day the first thing they do in the morning they say death to America death to Israel and he's saying they are the legitimate one they are the right one حسار معنوی و ایمانی اوست این مکبر آمریکان برای همینه قالوا محبة وتشرون السلام ثم تدعي بأن الغرب هو من نشر الارهاب يعني هل كانت امريكا موجودة حينما كان رسولك يقتل الناس يمينة وشمالا هل سوف تتهم امريكا بانهم هم من قتلوا احفاد محمد هل ستتهم عائشة بانها كانت عميلة للسي اي اي ماذا تقول يا هذا صراحة المسلمين أرى فيهم عجبا عجابا ثم يقول أن الإسلام يعني ليس فيه تعصب أنا أتحداه وأسأله لماذا في إيران الآن مساجين مسيحيون كل جريمتهم أنهم بشروا بالدين المسيحي وهناك قصيص سوف يعدم قريبا فقط لأنه ترك الإسلام وأصبح مسيحيا ثم تتكلم عن التعصب أنت في أمريكا تتكلم عن الإسلام وتبشر في الإسلام ولا قتلوك ولا ف... ولا شبه لك البث المباشر انت ما ما مسموع يعني حاليا تفضل طيب طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نعم. يعني انا اتعجب هذه الكمبيوتر بها حساسيه فقط حينما وصل الى اسرائيل على كل حال الموضوع الذي نتحدث اليه لا يوجد هنالك سي اي اي في وقت رسول الله مم. لكن كان هنالك صهاينه وارى ان هن... وارى الى هذا اليوم هنالك صهاينه يدافعون عن اسرائيل ويهاجمون ايران ويهاجم اسرائيل تمتلك مئات من الرؤوس النوويه وفي كل يوم تهاجم بلدا عربيا وانت تسكت عنها ايها الظالم واما ايران فلا تملك اي راس نووي وتخافون منها لانها على حق ولانها الى تدعو الى الاسلام والى الوئام على كل حال No, actually, everybody have different attention, but our attention, I'm not responsible on the other, our attention is for peace. We're praying for a peace and ceasefire in the Middle East for all sides to stop the killing of innocent right, I just people. Wanted... He's praying for peace. In the coming video, you will see that he is happy for the good news, which is the destruction of Israel. He is saying he is praying for peace in the Middle East. You see how they lie? I will hear more of him and then you watch my debate with him. Which is not a... Uh, hey, Mom, Muslim. I got one last Sorry. question. I want you to answer yes or no to these two questions. Is Hezbollah a terrorist group and is Israel a nation of peace? Well, first of all, I believe all the nations are for peace, whether they are Lebanese, whether they are uh, Muslim... Is Hezbollah a terrorist organization, one? sir? Oh, this is a new idea as a political or as a I, I, I don't know, we, uh, you know what does Hezbollah mean I support the people of God we, uh, the believers we whether they are Christian or Muslims or Jewish we appreciate you coming on the show we uh, told you about the controversy let us see who is the people of God for this man he support the people of God regardless if they are Christians or Muslims or Jews we will see if this is true or he is lying let us expose him now uh, Hennity, he asked him very clear a question. Are you with or against Hezbollah? What do you think of Hezbollah? 
He said Hezbollah is a word in the Quran. Hezbollah, a word means people of God. I am with people of God, regardless if they are Christians, Jews, or Muslims. This is how they try to fool you. You see, you see, like they give you an answer which is not an answer. He is with people of God, regardless if they are Muslims or Christians or Jews. But the Quran says the story in full that he is trying to fool you. Chapter five, verse number fifty-six. And this is the verse, let me show it to you with, with the Muslim translations. You will see in here that the people of God, the parties of God, those people are the one who they support Muhammad, the one who fight with Muhammad. You see, they take a side with Allah and his messenger. Who is Allah and his messenger? It's Muhammad. So do the Jews take the side of Muhammad? No. Do the Christians take the side of Muhammad? No. So the Hezbollah is always the Muslims. The liar he was trying to convince us that, you know, Hezbollah is people of God. You know, yes, people of God in Islam. And those are the Muslims and the Muslims only. This is why the Quran is full of verses that says, kill them wherever you find them. Kill the Christians, kill the Jews, kill the infidels. So they try to fool you and they think, this is what the Muslims they think, that you as a Western is an ignorant because they learned, you know, sadly, from your uh, society uh, that you people, you know, uh, you believe anything is said to you. Obama says Islam is peace. George Bush says Islam is peace. Uh, Hillary Clinton said Islam is peace. And then Islam is peace. And here we go. He's giving you a nice smile, a smiley face. Uh, you know, he's laughing. He's a peaceful person, etc. Now, if we go to the explanation of the verse about Hezbollah, chapter 5, verse number 56, you will see clearly that not only they are uh, uh, people of God uh, uh, as, as, a, as a party they are the one who will be victorious over the enemies and who is the enemies if we go to the you know to, to chapter 9 verse number 29 9 29 we will see who is the enemies of Allah who the Muslims been ordered uh, uh, to fight 29 29 here we go <coughs> and then you will notice that those are the enemies which is the Christians which is the Jews, which is the people of the book. People of the book mean the Christians and the Jews. Here we go. Fight those who, from the people of the scriptures, who is the, the Jews and the Christians. Do you see it? It's not my translation. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. This is their translation. This is their website. This, this website belongs to the king himself. No kidding. And this is Ibn Abbas. So fight who? Fight the Jews and the Christians. But he was saying to us, the people of God, they are the Christians and the Jews too. You see how they lie to you? Don't ever trust a Muslim. Anyway, in the coming part of the video, you will see how he loved the Christians and the Jews, and specifically the Jews. You see, he said that he is with the people of God, but at the same time, he will attack Jerusalem, and he will kick the Jews out. And he, for sure, he mean, you know, when he said, you know, the word in Arabic, kicked, it means he will cleanse, you know, he will kill everybody. So let us see what he said in the coming uh, part of the video. ولكن أبشرك ببشارة في القرآن قال الله تعالى جاء وعد أخراها هنالك كرة أخرى لأن الصهاينة هم ظلم الآن. وهم يقتلون الأبرياء في فلسطين والعملاء من أمثالك يدافعون عنهم وعن جرائمهم لذلك أقول لك أن القرآن يبشرنا بعودة المسلمين إلى القدس وقريب وإن شاء الله سوف يطرد من أمثالك الصهاينة من القدس الشريفة التي دنسها الصهاينة من أمثالك والأعوان إسرائيل من أمثالك فأبشرك ببشارة بشرنا بها رسول الله محمد من عند الله تعالى في القرآن الكريم سوف يأتي اليوم القريب الذي يدخل فيه المؤمنون إلى القدس ويطرد من أمثالك 